Alright, welcome guys to the special pre-recorded video on Simply Rocco, Simply Rocco Philippines, and on Rumble.com, Simply Rocco 911. Please guys, subscribe to those channels, check me out on Rumble, check me out on YouTube, please uh, support the channels. So today we're going to talk about course why are men now dating overseas and what's causing the phenomenon also known as passport bros we're gonna be watching a video from Al of Asia he just came out with this uh, video within the last day or so please subscribe to his channel I'm gonna tag him he brings up a lot of good points um, I bring up my own points as well throughout this video so please check it out and let's go right now to the video and uh, let's start this up. All right, guys, let's get this started. If I said to you 50% of marriages in the U.S. end up in divorce, would you be surprised? Could this startling statistic be the driving force behind the growing trend of American men who are going overseas to find a girlfriend or wife? Well, first of all, let's get a few points clear. This trend isn't exclusive to American men. In fact, men from various corners of the world, the UK, Canada, and beyond, are expanding their horizons. In the last 24 months alone, there's been a surge in international dating interest particularly in countries such as Vietnam, the Philippines, and so on. But what makes Southeast Asia so special, and why now? Today, we will swap our boots for flip-flops and embark on a journey to see why men are dating overseas, the risks men face, and why so many guys are now telling you to date in Asia. Including myself. Although our life experiences are significantly different, we find ourselves traveling down the same road. So what shared experiences could possibly have set us on this shared course? Society is a complex topic, and unfortunately, society in the Western world has gone too far. This God week, shit. I spent several days searching through social media on this topic, and if I was to summarize how men feel in one sentence, it would be this. Men have had enough. Enough of being blamed for everything. And yep. enough of being a walking bank account. Society treats women there very differently Ooh, from BBC. men. In 2018, Ooh. a report from Pew Research Center Ooh. indicates Ooh. that only 17... Hold on a second. Oh, man. So what I have to say about that... Oh. Honestly... 
I've seen an interview with Pearly Things where she was out in the street in the UK and she interviewed a couple women, two women that were together, and they were claiming that just men are out to R blank P E that every them all the time, which was ridiculous because number one, they weren't attractive. Uh, number two, they were overweight. And number three, most men aren't looking to do that. Okay? This is just some, some sort of menta- mentality thing that's been put into their heads that all men want to do this. That's all men want to do, which is ridiculous. Uh, they complaining and screaming, I can't even come out at the club at night and walk late at night. Um, and don't go out late at night to the club. Uh, to be a f- 304 in the UK or anywhere else. How about that? All right, let's continue. 0.5% of single parents with custody rights were men. Many studies have concluded that childcare costs after a divorce fall more heavily on men. And this it's isn't true. taking into account the countless societal norms and expectations of men in the Western world. From a logical point of view, putting aside our thoughts and experiences, Western society makes dating as a single man an undesirable choice. Okay. I was keen on getting a pulse on what gentlemen from the West, particularly those past the age of 45, thought about this whole situation. So I decided to message my email subscribers to see if any of them fancied a chat. One of the responses came from Jonathan. Now, Jonathan is a 48-year-old guy who's been around the block a few times in Chicago, but now lives in the Philippines. But just to give you a heads up, I'll be using an AI voice to represent Jonathan. To be honest, it's a bit of a challenge to get folks on the channel to discuss this topic unless you catch them off guard, such as a street interview. I'll, I'll, I'll talk hey, to them. Let's I'll take talk a to listen. you, man. I'll, okay, here goes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing boy. life with my Filipino wife in the Philippines. It feels as though I've managed to escape the matrix. There you go. Reflecting on my days back in America, it seems to me that the dating scene was governed by restrictive norms. Mm-hmm. It felt like an unfair game with 90% of the women setting their sights on the top 10% of men. This left most men either sidelined or trying to get with potential partners they found less than desirable. Please. The 666. Six figures, six foot tall. Oh, and more than six inches. (laughs) Average length is about six inches. Average income yearly. That is actually between 45K and 55K for the average male here in the United States. Um, for men to be over six figures, 100,000 or more, you're talking about 5 to 10% of the population, male population. That's a real slim chance of you finding somebody, baby. So, yeah, this, this is their first problem right there. They're trying to find something that they're not equal to. They're usually close to their late 20s, early 30s, and they've already been around the block. They've been had their back blown God knows how many times by Chad, Ray Ray, Tyrone, Pookie, whatever. Uh, yeah, and those kind of guys are not looking at you. So they're actually looking at the younger more feminine, more beautiful, you know, girls that don't have all that experience. So let's continue and let's see what else that he's got to say. Please understand, I bear no grudge against women. Quite the contrary. Some of the most cherished years of my life were spent in the company of an extraordinary woman back home. We were inseparable for over a decade, but when that relationship fell apart, I saw how toxic dating is now in America. To be honest, women now are different from what they were. I know this might sound strange and the younger guys won't get it, but it's the truth. Most women now look to replace instead of repairing what's broken. So that is what Jonathan had to say. But what about other points of view? Well, there is a question that popped up this week and it asked, 
Why do many American men prefer foreign women to be their wives? And I'm, I'm going to actually answer that before he goes into it. Family. Um, they want to have a family. They want that family unit. They want to have kids. They don't want to be... Uh, you know, some of them don't want to work. That's fine. Uh, they want to be a, a stay-at-home wife. They want to have that family unit. They want to be with someone that's going to be able to provide for them. I totally get that. Uh, there are options... Uh, there's plenty of options. There are plenty of women that don't want to be married. So some women do want to be married. They want to have kids. It all depends. Uh, now, there are those uh, women out there in the Philippines and Vietnam. They may already be a single mother or something like that. Normally, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't even suggest uh, getting together with already a single mother because we'll go through all those reasons in another video. Uh, but you don't want to put yourself in that situation, number one. But we'll continue what he's got to say here because I already see one part. Filipinos have an extreme sense of family. They want that family togetherness, they, that um, that unit. They, they want the nuclear family. And they want their kids to grow up in that mindset. So let's continue. This is the number one answer with over 1,400 upvotes. Simply put, the Western world has lost its way. The most important aspect of any society is the family unit. If yep. the family unit falls apart and the family values are lost, the very fabric of society is inching to tear Absolutely. apart at the seam. Forget the economy, forget identity politics, forget the right and the left, forget education, equality, racism, yep. and all that other stuff. If the family nucleus is gone, the rest of it all will soon fall apart. That's Canada right. has a divorce rate of over 60%. I don't blame women for what? this. I just blame our culture. I have no That's desire to become us. an uncle to my kids. The guy who sees them on the weekends. Why should Holy anyone accept shit. being reduced to visiting his own children? Western style socialism, divorce laws, the welfare state, political correctness, and Absolutely. feminism have all contributed to destroying the fabric of the family unit here. Yeah. Uh, actually, the courts, uh, child support, um, the family court system, it's all about making money they, to get the alimony through, to get all the uh, child support through the courts, through the state. Uh, the state gets all, the, gets all that put through. Um, it goes through the state. They get their fees out of the child support. Attorneys. Attorneys want divorce cases to go on and on so they can actually bill you more money. Uh, they don't want it to be quick. They want it to be more and more and more. If you don't have the money, they don't want to waste their time with you, even if you have a retainer. I know that as a fact. I've been through it. But Filipinas have an extreme sense of family. They would do anything for their family, and that's exactly what I want. It does come at a cost because my revenue has to not only help us, but help her parents and siblings as well. But I must respect that and take the good with the bad. The other reason is financial. I certainly appreciate that women want a man who can provide for them. It's not selfish or shallow. It's just common sense. They should seek... It, it, it's common sense and all those angry, bitter women, these twats that complain, uh, they're just going out for, the, for your money. They, go, they just want your money. Uh, sweetheart, isn't that what you've been bitching about on TikTok and all your little talk shows? Saying, oh, my, this man has to be over 100000 or 500000 a million. I mean, take a look at these TikTok videos. Take a look at these interviews that these women do. Check out It's Complicated. Uh, you'll see. You'll see how, how the modern woman really thinks. And it's all so damn delusional. You, you can't even ponder. I can't even ponder how the hell they can even think this when they know in the back of their head that most men don't make this money, that kind of money. It's, it's, it's impossible, especially in this economy. Forget it. Go to man who can offer them a roof and food for them and for their children. There is nothing wrong with that, but I am a construction contractor. I don't make all that much money and at 50, I find myself too old to take on a mortgage and save for my children's education. However, I can offer a premium, very desirable life to a Filipina. 
I can buy a decent house in the Philippines without having to borrow. In fact, I borrowed only $2,000 from my dad to pay for our home upfront. Every steak, every plate of Italian food is a true luxury in the Philippines. So I prefer to give steak to my family and be appreciated for it rather than them expecting it as a given. In Canada, I'm a bum. In the Philippines, I'm an upper middle class man. Why should I willingly choose to remain a bum? Wow. Yeah, and, and that goes to say, um, go where you're treated best, number one. Your dollar, your Western money goes a lot further than uh, it would here in the States or in Canada where he's from. Uh, second time I went to the Philippines, I took my fiance to TGIF for the first time, TGI Fridays. Spent $35 for dinner for the both of us. $35. Usually TGI Fridays, you're easily going to spend about $80, $85 just for two people. Uh, so yeah, that, that goes to say, you know, how far your money's going to go. Rents are a lot lower. Um, you're looking at maybe for a decent apartment, 80 to 150 a month in, in the province or, or a certain part of, of a city like in Manila or Cebu city, maybe if you want to go for the luxury condos. Uh, anywhere between I say 400 to 850 depending on where you go where you got to look around you got to do research obviously but yeah your money goes a lot further why would you want to stay here um, if you have the opportunity to go fucking go man just go so do you agree with Jonathan and this other commenter after all some people may be watching this and completely disagree and would argue and say that women in the US or the UK are no different than women in Asia. Hmm. So is the grass greener on the other side or is this just a big myth? They are different. Comparing because, the culture uh... is not an easy task. Unlike other topics, there is little data to examine the subject. But what we do have is men from all over the world sharing their experiences of dating in Asia. You got to take a look at this. Mm -hmm. Family, in other words, you want to have children. Filipinas are a great choice. But Dr. Lawe, this man is a great source for expats. Expats, okay? Um, he has a YouTube channel. He has a lot of videos that he does update them from time to time, uh, updates any information that he gives out, and he tries to give as much information as possible to expats so they know what to expect when they come to the Philippines, what to look for, how to get around. Uh, he's just one of many decent channels. Uh, trust me, this is somebody you definitely want to follow and subscribe to on YouTube. If you're looking for information, if you want to become an expat, go to the Philippines or other parts in Southeast Asia. He's got a lot of information. Definitely want to follow him. Because unlike in the West, where a lot of times in the United States, the women want to choose between their career or their family, or they want to put off having a family until much later, that's not really the case in the Philippines. I mean, sure, you're going to find some that just don't want to, or they do want to uh, put it off. But for the most part, mm -hmm. most of them are going to be very, very open to having a family. That's the reason they want yep. to get married to begin with. Exactly. I've rarely met any Filipina who was not interested in getting married and having her own children as a single guy traveling through asia i feel as if i have a fiduciary obligation to share the uh, dating experiences or the um, interpersonal interaction from a single guy's perspective and that's something that's definitely different here on this side of the world uh, there are a lot of guys who are living in, as i was years ago uh, unhappy with mm -hmm. the with their outcomes mm -hmm. and moving to the Asia Pacific region has been the best decision of so my true. life, even though I, I don't date a lot, you know, compared to other people and I tend to be a recluse, but uh, Filipino he, women are the best. They make the best. I gotta wives. look up his channel. He's uh, the first time I see the him. finest women on the planet, if not the finest. I wish Absolutely. I would have knew that I when I was much younger. Hopefully this little bit of wisdom will help somebody else. Now and I got to say, for those who are watching, um, 
I do have some Filipino followers, a lot of Filipino followers actually on Facebook. Uh, I just want to say that what I believe in, it's not just about the women. It's, it's not about women. It's not about, oh, Filipinos are hot, this and that. Um, for me personally, it's about finding peace. For me personally, I, I adore um, the Filipino culture. I love it. Uh, I have have friends in the Philippines that I've met through Facebook, through streaming, through game streaming, and those people are amazing. Uh, some of those people have uh, actually bought me lunch when I got there and stuff like that. Uh, things that you know, the, you just realize that there's a different mindset just being there. Uh, I, I appreciate the culture. I appreciate what's there. I, I appreciate how they are with me. Because you find there's a sense of brotherhood between the guys that, that you meet there uh, as friends, you know. And for me personally, my fiance that lives out there, she's somebody I truly love. Uh, she's one of a kind. And. I even had somebody call her a jackpot one time. So, yeah, I, I really got to say, it's not just about the women. It's not it's not like that for me. For some guys, honestly, yes, it is. And for some passport, bro, passport bros, that's all they want. That's all they want to do. I mean, everybody's an adult. They do what they want to do. My problem, I do have problems with uh, older men who do have this thing of going there just for uh, this, the the uh, to pay for a certain thing if you know what I mean or guys that go there and leave the girls pregnant and never come back and never contact them again that's that's something that's horrible that shouldn't happen unfortunately it does happen it does happen here too but a lot a lot over there too that's not something I stand for and that's not uh, something that should be happening uh, but honestly, the Philippines, I don't know if it can get any better than there. It's likely no surprise that many women disagree with this whole idea. TikTok. I know. I was shocked too. Over the years, Here many women have posted on YouTube and TikTok about TikTok. how messed up men are for going <gasps> abroad to find a girlfriend. Passport they bros. tell you that you as a man are lazy broke and pathetic yep. for dating abroad. And guess what? Some even criticize Asian women by saying they are uneducated and just dating a white guy because they need to escape poverty. Is this? Okay. That scene that you saw there? Yeah, you do see girls like this. I have seen this myself. I've seen it plenty of times when I was there in Cebu. Uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, there is poverty there, but there also is a lot of rich areas. There's also a lot of women that are working. They are educated, and we'll get to that in a second. As a matter of fact, for some of the most basic retail jobs, you have to have a college education or at least a year or two of college. Like seriously, to work in a retail cashier job they require college education no shit look for it and, I'll, and, I, and I'm going to tell you being a white guy because they need to escape poverty is this really the reality or do women only have themselves to blame well these are what some of the ladies are saying honestly the amount of white dudes with Thai women that are waiting to board international flights, it's an absurdity. It is crazy. <laughs> like, half of the couples in this airport right now are beautiful Thai women with super so? basic white dudes. <laughs> I don't know. What, so what's the problem? What's the problem? Who cares? They want to go out and be happy. They're happier with Thai women versus the plain Jane 
going on TikTok and complaining, oh my God, look at how many white guys I, I see here. Like, why? Why would you want to do that? Rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. One of the four things that show a low value woman is insulting another one is shaming you know Ugh, the white guys are here you know it's just disgusting it's disgusting what she's doing there why would you go and talk about people and try to shame guys for wanting to be happy who cares you know why because they don't want you that's why I don't know what a passport bro was until one oh of my recent God. videos did well. Who's going to tell them? Here we go. Who is going to tell these men that American women are some of the last demographics of women to catch up with what we're, we're talking about right now? You think Russian women are going to put up with your shit? You well, first, well, first of all, nobody's going to Russia, uh, especially nowadays, uh, number one. Can't deal with anything in Russia. Think Asian women are going to go 50 50 with you on the bill? Asian women aren't looking to go 50 50. They're looking to find a husband, uh, just like uh, guys going over there looking to find a wife or find a nice girlfriend, find somebody who's feminine and delicate. I want something feminine and delicate. And someone who uh, wants to spend the rest of their life with them or, you know, just to be with a decent companion. Not somebody like this weirdo. You think French women are going to sleep with you just because you showed up? Nobody's going to France, bitch. Nobody's going to France to find this. France is part of the problem. France, the UK, the United States, they're all wrapped up in that modern feminist bullshit. All these ladies going on TikTok, blowing smoke each other's ass. Bullshit. Nobody's going to France. If guys go to France, it's just to hang out, whatever, week. Not to find a woman, that's for sure. No way. And look, look at these eyes. What's wrong with this woman? What, look, look at these eyes. Like. <laughs> no. Fuck off. Oh. After watching my oh, videos, what? I came across this interesting article. Like you're the actually article saying discusses something. the trend of American men seeking foreign brides through international dating services. The article questions the motives of men in these situations, suggesting they might prefer women who are more submissive and easily exploited. It also addresses the ethical issues submissive, tied yes, to the business model no. of these services likening it to modern day slavery guys are looking for, where women exploit, trade their beauty scumbags. for economic stability. Comments range from this lady who said, Men bring these problems on themselves by not wanting a relationship with an equal who lives in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Screw making men happy. People need to make themselves happy, not rely on others for that. And there are comments. Okay, so people make, need to make themselves happy. That's what we're doing. We're leaving. We're going on a plane to find our happiness. This is the way. Comments like this one. Now for context, this is in relation to a certain part of the article which said, if you can't find an American bride, perhaps the problem is not the 40 million women. No, Maybe the problem it, is you. It is. Well, there's a logic to this statement. That same study showed that 61% of single men were actively looking for a relationship, while only 38% of single women were. Given those go. statistics, the women have the most choice and can't find someone they consider a good partner. <laughs> Using the same logic you applied oh there, God. they are the ones with the problem. From speaking to viewers of this channel and expats over the years, many feel that back home women are selfish and entitled. So because of this, they travel oh, to Asia oh. and meet... Look at this, look at this. Exactly. This, this face. This is, this is why we're leaving. This is why we're going on a plane. This is, this is ridiculousness in the flesh.
Reminds me of my ex-wife. Asian women who are beautiful, intelligent, right. and caring. Mm -hmm. There is literally no competition. Whatever side of the fence you sit Absolutely. on, the question is, where is all this leading? We have already seen big changes in society over the years. There are a lot of people out there who say that men are becoming more like women and women are becoming more like men. There is even a conspiracy theory that there is a plot to make modern men weaker, and some research has suggested testosterone levels in the general population have been declining yep. year after year. But regarding overseas dating, if men continue to move to Asia and trends in society continue, what will be the impact of this? Well, okay. First of all, it's not a conspiracy theory. Not at all. Look around you. Look at all the dudes. Adam 22. The absolute biggest. Sam! 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 The biggest simp. How this guy could let his wife do a scene with another man and praise about it all over the place for the last month that's all I've heard about this guy just talking about it and he just made himself the biggest piece of shit out there I guarantee you within a year or so his his marriage is over his, his wife is going to be like get, getting tired of him because now she had a taste of the black meat, you know? One, two. Yeah, that's right. That's it. That's what he had a taste of. That's it. That's it. That's it. You look at arms now? There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. Move. That's it. That's it, Adam. There you go. But let's continue, guys. There are a few potential outcomes. Asia may move in the direction of the U.S., and the U.S. may move in the direction of Asia. Not a this chance. means that dating becomes more difficult in Asia as more Westerners move overseas, and at the same time, dating in the Western world becomes less challenging, but many don't see this happening. Revaluation of means. So what could potentially happen is both men and women in society revaluate what they can contribute and revaluate their expectations. But unless dating becomes impossible, this again seems unlikely. Judgments and divide. The more likely situation is that there will be more pressure and social norms will be placed on men. Men will be judged negatively for dating in Asia by local women they are. as they continue to believe men are they only are. dating abroad because of money, power, or some other dynamic. But ha but that's already happening now. Um, honestly, uh, yeah, Passport Bros get some flack from uh, from locals. I, I've seen that also. I've heard I've heard from a, a couple of Asians. Uh, uh, DM me and, and call me a misogynist and racist and all that shit uh, and sexist and all that but it, it, it's it's a reality that for and, uh, and I'm not any of those things I, I've been accused of plenty of times but this is reality um, men just want to be happy Asian women especially Filipinas they they want to be happy and they go and get together Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's just like everything else in life. But they get criticized for wanting to be happy. And they get, they get criticized for leaving. They call, they're call they called broke. Uh, it takes money to go just to go to the Philippines. It could go the range of a flight. Anywhere between 850 to 1300 depending on what airline, when you go during the year, so forth, and all that stuff. You got to do your research on that, too. Let's continue. Having said this, after looking through the trends and data, more Western women may return to family values. Doubt In it. reflection, 
It's no big deal who Bullshit. you like or who you date. There are a lot of Western women who date they Asian will never men, go back. and nobody blinks an never. eye. But when men date in Asia, questions and assumptions are made. Of course. I always try and put together my videos in a way that shows facts, insight, and the even the other side of the coin from people who disagree. But even if we look at the fundamentals of this topic, anyone can see for men at this current time, Asia is the much better option. But to clear up a few points, it definitely most is. Western women don't have any problems with this topic. The ones who kick off tend to be the ones who are single and ironically give the most dating advice. If a yep. man sees a woman as only a body, he has gone too far. True. But similarly, if a woman sees a man as only a wallet, she has gone too far. Everything is on the same scale, just at a different degree. The reality is that there are pros and cons to dating in Asia just as much as dating in the Western world. But as Absolutely. a man, you have a lot more going for you and a much brighter future in Southeast Asia. Absolutely. Let me summarize it like go. this in Asia. If you lose, you lose a little. If you gain, you gain a lot. In the West, if you lose, you lose a lot and if you gain, you gain a little. Take a look at this yep. video where we dive into this topic in a whole new light. Until next time, stay strong, and I will see you in the next one. So, yeah, that's actually so true, what, what he said at the end there. And to be honest... What he said at the end uh, is a hundred percent true. You know, your 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 dollar doesn't go anywhere here in the states, not anymore. And for to for you to do that, you got to be super rich, and it just doesn't happen to the normal guy anymore. It's just impossible. So, honestly, men, get your passports, go out there. Find your happiness. Find your peace. Don't even worry about finding a woman. Go, just go out in the world. Travel. Travel. Go, go to Vietnam. Go to Indonesia. Go to Cambodia. Go um, to the Philippines. My, the Philippines, honestly, is my favorite. Honestly, because the, the language... English is basic, basically the second language there. A majority of people speak it. Uh, so, yeah, men, get your passports. Don't deal with these women here. Don't, don't, don't even uh, put yourself through that ridiculousness. And remember, don't be... Sam! 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 There you go. Don't be one of those, guys. Till next time. Till the next video, which will be coming soon, guys. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>